If you want to learn more and discover how the Azure IoT platform works, how you can interact and work with Azure IoT Hub, well, what's better than actually playing around with hardware and getting your hands dirty, right? And so Clayton Fernandez can come on the show today to show us a nice, very neat demo, which is on, on GitHub, uh, for you to play around with the MX chip dev kit that we have here and, uh, you know, do your first arms with the IoT Hub service. Hey everyone, you're watching the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host, and uh, today we have Clayton Fernandez on the show. Welcome, Clay. Hey, Clayton. Olivier. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. Great to be here. Good. So, for the audience, uh, I know you. They don't know you yet. Yet. Not right? yet. But who are you? What are you doing at Microsoft? Yeah, so my name is Clayton Fernandez. Um, I lead our Azure IoT solutions go to market. Um, I help our customers um, really start to build their solutions and look at you know, where we invest um, as Microsoft. Cool. So you're here because you created a very nice demo, uh, and um, that demo actually is about what you can do with the Azure IoT platform at, at a glance, right? High level, with the kind of things yeah. that can be done and how they can be done. And you're using one of our dev kits, one of our starter kits, which is the MX chipboard. Yes. And so you're going to show us a bit about that demo. And I'd like for you to actually do it as if you were doing a pitch to someone yeah. in terms of what is IoT Hub, what can you do with it, and yeah. what you can show us with that device here. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess firstly, you know, so many of our customers have just really wanted to connect physical devices mm -hmm. up to Azure and wondering, you know, how do I get started with that? Yeah. And we have the ability to do it with um, IoT Central, which is our SaaS-based offering. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now we're showing you how you can do it with um, IoT PaaS utilizing IoT Hub. Correct. So what we've got here is our um, Azure IoT Dev Kit. Mm -hmm. um, now, so this is a device which we um, are connecting directly to Azure IoT Hub, which is our mm -hmm. bi-directional service yeah. um, up to Azure, or our front door service for, for Azure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what we're doing is we're getting device telemetry coming in. So it's from this MX board, and on this board we've got sensors like um, sound, accelerometer, atmospheric pressure, magnometer, temperature, uh, humidity. So, yeah. so a lot of sensors that you know, customers already have within uh, their environment. So mm -hmm. what we're showing is you know, how we can get all this telemetry, take that straight back up into Azure, mm -hmm. um, do two-way telemetry, so send data back to the devices, so we can yeah. send messages directly to the board, um, then do a basic rules engine uh, with that, and then also integrating with our third-party APIs as well. In this case, we've utilized uh, Twitter. So okay. let, me, let me run through um, what, what the actual demo okay. is, and then we'll show you how you can actually get started with it. Awesome. So what I've done um, over here is I've uh, I just powered off my screen for two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I've got over here, is my device connected up onto our um, Azure IoT Hub MX uh, portal. Okay. And the mm -hmm. only thing I've done with it is I've, uh, I've created an image in GitHub, I've put it onto the board, I've gone to a website, and you know, I've put in my device keys in there, so I've put in my Azure IoT Hub key in there, I've put okay. in my Twitter key inside there, um, and I'm up and I've been running. So what I can do over here So you basically is did a setup. So the website itself is live, is something that actually has been pushed, or do you have to deploy yourself your own version of the website? Yeah, so you deploy your own version okay. of the of your website. You can have your own custom website um, okay. over there as well. So this is my custom website yeah. um, over here. And I've, what Got I've got it. here is just a live telemetry coming okay. in over here. So if I wanted to manipulate one of these sensors, so for example, I wanted to manipulate sound, um, I'm just going to hold down the, the button B, and then I'm going to go and uh, talk and say hello. And then we'll see that the sound level um, goes, goes and changes. Okay. Same with the magnometer, temperature, humidity. We can start to manipulate those. So if I um, put my, my finger over the, the uh, temperature sensor, the humidity sensor, um, then we'll see that those figures yep. start, to, uh, start to change uh, as well. Um, so basically from sensor up to IoT Hub, IoT Hub data is consumed by your backend website, right, that actually will display that data real time. Absolutely right. Okay. And that's what we're seeing um, going happening over here. And the other things that I can do with this is do the two-way telemetry. So um, over here, if I wanted to you know, send a message directly back to the board, and if I was to put in the message Azure IoT Hub, and I click on send. Now what we're showing is that two-way telemetry, so message coming back to device. You can see the message. Yeah, the message just appears right over there. Okay, and, and that, for that using um, the cloud to device messages? Yeah, that's using from cloud going straight to uh, device, so securely transmitting back okay. to device. Now okay. that happens to be a message on the screen. It mm -hmm. could be shutting down that particular device or updating an algorithm on that device okay. or you know whatever that message happens uh, to be. Yeah. So I'll, again, I'll just go ahead and I'll just clear, clear that message. Uh, the next thing that we do um, over here is 
we're going to show um, how you can do a really basic rules engine. So mm. what I'll do over here is I'll just say um, the sound of, I'll just, I'll make it a really low value over here. So if the decibels goes uh, above 40 decibels, okay. um, then go and set a rule. So uh, the rule engine's been set. I'm just going to click on the button B over here and say hello. We'll see what the decibel readings, and as you can see, that rules engine um, has been met. Okay. And this is an example of third-party integration. So I'll click up um, over here, and I'll go uh, directly into uh, Twitter, okay. and then we'll see that uh, my device or from, from the cloud mm -hmm. has now sent out a tweet um, out to um, uh, out to Twitter. And uh, that's just uh, loading up uh, over there. This is my IT device, and this is the one over here from uh, just uh, 23, 23 seconds ago, seconds ago. Um, that we've hit that uh, decibel and that particular uh, UTC time okay. um, over there. So what was the stake behind that? So the rule itself, was it something that you have software that is hard coded, or are you leveraging some of the features of IT Hub to do that? Yeah, so in this particular one, we're doing a really basic rules engine. So this is actually the software that we've got um, sitting inside the cloud okay, okay. that is just testing for you know basic telemetry coming in. So has has uh, telemetry comes in through IT Hub, and yep. uh, then we're leveraging stream analytics to uh -huh. work out um, you know have we gone past particular thresholds? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, then we get that message uh, and we send that out. Got it. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. True. Okay. So all this is now available up on um, GitHub. So we've got our GitHub awesome. um, repository um, up over here, which is github.com, Microsoft uh, MX style IoT sample. Yep. And uh, what you'll see over here is um, the full instructions to get this all up and running. So we've got okay. the introduction about what you need, we've got mm -hmm. the reference architecture diagram, the environmental setup, okay. uh, and really all the bits that you need to, to get um, up and running. So you so basically get familiar with the Azure IoT platform and yeah. the past services by doing it yourself. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. That's, that's pretty cool. I love that. Uh, one thing to note is that if people want to contribute, they have issues, they have problems, we can interact on GitHub on that. Yeah. Can they do that with a free trial of Azure as well? Yeah, absolutely. So you can spin up a free trial of Azure. Okay. Um, you can uh, clone a copy of this uh, repository um, and spin this up within your own um, uh, Azure account. So okay. um, this is all possible to do um, just running off a free, free trial account. Um, you can sign up for a Twitter developer account, which is also doesn't cost anything as well. Um, okay. So it's, it's really easy to get started. Awesome. Thanks, Clayton, for that demo. Thanks, Olivia. Hope to see you soon on the show. And uh, for you guys, we'll have some links on how to get access to this fantastic demo and resources. And we hope to see you soon on the IoT show. Don't forget to subscribe. Absolutely. Bye for now.